Minecraft 1.21.3 just got released and as you can see there's already shaders for this version of Minecraft and these are some beautiful shaders as you can see here these are called complementary and bound and in this video I'm going to teach you how to add shaders and how to play this game and join the view and as you can see these shaders are so nice because you could actually take them up with just pressing a button and then you could put them back on by pressing the same button so now let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial now the first step to install shaders is to click the second link in the description which is a written guide on how to download and install iris shaders you don't have to read through this this is only for those of you that like to read and look at the screenshots if you want to follow along the video all you have to do is scroll down to step one and click download iris here that is going to redirect you to the iris website if you're wondering iris is a shader loader which is going to allow us to add shaders into minecraft 1.21.3 to download iris click download now that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download universal jar and your download will begin right away and while that downloads if you need a minecraft server use that first link in the description and get 25 percent off with apex housing apex housing offers a bunch of different advantages like for example locations all around the world for you to create either java or a bedrock server that is hosted online and completely safe to use but they also have over 200 mod packs that you could install to those servers with just a click of a button. That way, you and your friends could play at any moment in a Minecraft server without you having to expose your IP address, keep your computer on all the time, or having to do everything manually yourself. Now, something I personally love about Apex Housing, if you ask me, besides them giving you 25% off, if you use that first link in the description, is that you could actually create the server and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings, kick people out, change the weather, whatever you want to do through the server console, you could do so through your phone because it is your server after all again use that first link in the description and now let's keep going with the tutorial and as we can see iris just downloaded and we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop iris into our desktop now this is a shader loader and if you already have some shaders downloaded in your computer you don't need to download anything else we're just gonna need to install iris and we're gonna get to that step in a second but first i want to download some shaders so i could actually test out my shader loader so i could know if it's working you could download any shaders that you want but if you want to download the same shaders as me the ones i use in the description of this video which are complementary shaders unbound then just go ahead and click on the third link in the description description which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install these shaders again you don't have to follow through the whole thing if you just want to follow along the video all you have to do is go down to step one and click download that is going to redirect you over here where we're going to choose the most recent version of these shaders or the 1.21.3 version of complementary shaders if you're looking here in the files or the versions of these shaders we're going to see that the most recent one is 1.21.1 but don't worry because 1.21.1 is 100 compatible with minecraft 1.21.3 and to download these shaders all we have to do is click on these three dots and click download file if you already see 1.21.3 when you come to this website go ahead and download those but as of right now we're going to download 1.21.3 click download file and after five seconds your download will begin right away you could just grab that file that zip file from your downloads folder or from the recent download here on your browser and go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop just like we did with the iris installer now with these two files in here and again feel free to use any other shaders you don't have to use the same ones as me but i do love complementary inbound so that's why i'm using them we are ready to begin the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have closed minecraft as well as your minecraft launcher it's very important that you have played minecraft 1.21.3 at least once in your computer because that creates an instance of the game so then we can install the iris shaders into that instance of the games and you don't have any crashes or anything like that or any errors while installing the iris shaders the next step will be to right click on iris click open with and then select java right here and that is going to open the iris installer now if you don't have java and you couldn't open the iris installer just stay around for a second and i'm going to show you how to fix that but those of you that managed to open the iris installer just select 1.21.3 and hit install and like i was saying earlier if you weren't able to open the iris installer that is because you need java 21 this is extremely important but after the update for minecraft 1.20.5 i believe you now need java 21 for installing any type of mod any type of shaders creating a server or anything that you do that requires you using jar files you're gonna need java 21. Java 21 is a program or software or whatever you want to call it. It's actually a, a programming language that you need to install into your computer to launch that type of jar files. It is a requirement. This is not optional. If you don't install this, you're not going to be able to install any mods and you're not going to be able to then later on play the game once you install the mod. If let's say that you had some other Java and you were somehow able to open the Iris installer, because I know that if you have like Java 8 or Java 17, you will be able to open the installer, but you will not be able to then play the game once you install the Iris shaders. Okay. I'm going to leave that link in the description for you to install Java java 21 it's gonna be labeled something like java 21 or something like that right there down below in the description of this video now that we have installed iris shaders as you can see it says completed in here let's go ahead and close the installer we don't need it anymore and guess what you could even delete the installer or iris because you already installed it now go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and i'm going to show you how to add those shaders into the game because we installed iris but we still haven't added any shaders now if you follow along and you did everything right up to this moment you should have iris and sodium selected right here for 1.21.3 automatically however if that's not the case for you just head over 
over to installations and in here make sure you have modded selected as you can see without modded you won't see iris and sodium and if that still doesn't do it for you just click on new installation name this whatever you want like for example apex hosting since they'll give you 25 percent off if you use the first link in the description and then for the version in here just type iris and then select the most recent one which should be 1.21 1.3 as you can see here and read at the end and then just click create here on the bottom right once you find iris 1.21 1.3 that would add an instance of iris for you in here in case it wasn't here automatically when you open the launcher anyways once you find iris and sodium for 1.21 1.3 just go ahead and hit play on it you might get this little prompt in here just click that you understand if you don't know what you're understanding or accepting this is pretty much saying that you understand the risk of playing modern minecraft and stuff and you feel free to read about it here where it says read more about player safety features but this is totally normal everybody has gone through this if you have modern minecraft in the past and then just hit play and wait for the game to open to play with shaders but you still don't have shaders added i'm gonna show you how to add shaders so stick around now once we open the game using iris we're gonna go ahead and launch a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer world you could use this on a server and if you don't have a server remember first link in the description and you could use your own or create your own using apex hosting anyways now that we're here in a world it's time to add the shaders so how do you add the shaders you might ask all you have to do is press escape head over to options and then head over to video settings as you can see this whole menu here has changed it looks completely different now and what we're going to do is click where it says shader packs in here and as you can see this is a different menu this is new to you because now we're able to add shaders to add shaders we're gonna click where it says open pack folder right here on the bottom left you could say actually on the bottom center of the screen and that is going to open a folder that should be empty for most of you as a matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and delete the file that was there in order for you to add the shaders now all you have to do is drag and drop that zip file that we downloaded earlier if you follow along this video you download a complementary inbound if you already have your own shaders from the past you could go ahead and add it in here because one of the great features of iris shaders is that it's backwards compatible meaning that you could add shaders from maybe minecraft 1.18 and they might twerk it's not a guarantee but they might work in here so go ahead and add whatever shaders you want to use and then once you have it here in this folder called shader packs you could close this folder and back into the game and you should see complementary inbound right here or whatever shaders you added now go ahead and select it and then hit apply and give it a second for it to load as depending on your computer this might take longer or this might take less than it will take for me and let's just wait for those shaders to be ready and after a couple seconds as you can see we have shaders here let's go ahead and hit done a couple of times and go back into the game and there we go we have shaders in minecraft 1.21 1.3 this is amazing this is actually beautiful i love how these shaders look this is complementary inbound for you guys and something pretty cool about iris shaders is that if you press the letter k on your keyboard it actually disables the shaders without you having to go into the menu and if you press it again it actually enables them back and also if you press o you could actually head over to the shaders pack menu without having to go through the whole escape and then video settings and all of that so that is pretty cool guys don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you and as always bye bye